Hi everyone, let's talk about the triangle inequality for complex numbers. As a reminder, the complex numbers can be written in a rectangular form like a plus bi where a and b are in the real numbers and the complex norm is defined as the absolute value of a plus bi which is equal to the square root of a square plus b square. So that's essentially the distance of the complex number from the origin in the complex plane. The theorem we want to prove, which is the triangle inequality for complex numbers, says that for all z and w in the complex numbers, it holds that the absolute value of z plus the absolute value of w is greater than or equal to the absolute value of z plus w. And we're going to use a substitution like this to prove it. So let's go ahead with doing that. We'll let z equal to a plus bi and w equal to c plus di. So what we're trying to prove is that the absolute value of a plus bi plus the absolute value of c plus di is greater than or equal to the absolute value of a plus c plus b plus d i. Now we're going to use the definition of the norm now. So we get a square plus b square square root plus c square plus d square square root is greater than or equal to a plus c square plus b plus d square square root over the whole thing. And what we're going to do is that we're going to use the reversible step of squaring both sides. So we get a square plus b square plus c square plus d square plus square root of a square plus b square times square root of c square plus d square. And that's going to be greater than or equal to, I'm just going to expand everything in here all together. So we get rid of the square root and we get a square plus c square plus b square plus d square plus 2ac plus 2bd. So we cancel out the a squares, we cancel out the b squares, we cancel out the c squares and the d squares, and there should be a 2 over here. So we cancel out, we divide out by 2 as well, and what we're left with is the square root of a square plus b square times the square root of c square plus d square is greater than or equal to ac plus bd. Now it's tempting to square both sides again but we can't quite do that because the, the right side is not necessarily non-negative so that step wouldn't be reversible but we, what we can say is that it suffices to prove the following square root of a square plus b square times square root of c square plus d square is greater than or equal to the absolute value of a c plus b d. If we prove this it's good enough because then we can say that this is greater than or equal to a c plus b d. So let's work on this inequality here. Now we can square both sides and work backwards once more because both sides are non-negative. We get a square plus b square times c square plus d square is greater than or equal to ac plus bd squared. And for those of you who are familiar with multivariable inequalities, this is equivalent to a lower instance of the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality, but we're not going to assume that. We're just going to go ahead with proving it by expansion. We get a square c square plus a square d square plus b square c square plus b square d square is greater than or equal to a, a square c square plus b square d square plus 2acbd. Once again, we have cancellations. So the a square c square gets canceled out. The b square d square gets canceled out. 
and taking everything over to the left side we get a square d square pl plus that should be a minus 2acbd plus b square c square is greater than or equal to zero and factoring the left side we get ad minus bc squared is greater than or equal to zero and that is in fact true so this proves a complex triangle inequality I just want to comment briefly on the equality condition equality holds if equality is true in this inequality as well as this part here so equality holds if and only if AD equals to BC and AC plus BD is greater than or equal to zero and there is a neat way of stating this uh, for those of you who are familiar with linear algebra you'll notice that this is the determinant of AD ABCD equals to zero and that means that the vectors AB and CD lie on the same line through the origin so we have a line like this and they both lie on it and the second condition AC plus BD is greater than or equal to zero what it forces it to be true is that it has to be on the on the same ray through the origin I'm not going to prove this right now but it means that they're on the same ray they can't like one of them can't be over here they both have to be on the same side of the line so basically and either of them could be the origin that's not a problem the, the ray includes the origin so really what mean what equality means is that either z equals to zero or w equals to zero or there exists an alpha real greater than zero such that z equals to alpha w and you can extend this theorem to n complex numbers to say that z1 plus z2 plus z3 all the way through to zn absolute value is less than or equal to the absolute value of z1 plus the absolute value of z2 adding all the way through to the absolute value of zn so this extends just like the real triangle inequality and equality holds if and only if they all lie on the same ray through the origin so the ray has to emanate from the origin here okay Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.